Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. Today's video should be a really fun one because we are comparing a pair of vintage uh, Bosch & Lomb Ray-Ban Aviator frames against a pair of modern uh, Luxottica made Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face, starting with the vintage pair. And here we can see they look absolutely amazing on face. I do love the look of the original Ray-Ban Aviator frame. Just really, really classy and nice. Now let me go ahead and pop on the modern Luxottica pair. And this pair is from 2024 brand new and here we can see these also look really really good and as far as styling goes there really is not a big difference between these frames but there are a lot of tiny differences that we're going to get into later in this video but either way both these frames do look really great and timeless that is absolutely for sure now if we take a close look at these Bosch & Lomb vintage frames we can see a painted on Ray-Ban logo which of course is there for authentication purposes now Ray-Ban started first putting this logo on all of their sunglasses in late 1980 but that also means for about 50 years, Ray-Ban did not put the painted on Ray-Ban logo on their frames. So you can still find a ton of authentic uh, vintage Ray-Ban Bosch & Lomb frames that do not have the logo on them whatsoever. So it's a really good way to tell the year of your frames is if it has a painted on Ray-Ban logo or not. However, it is very easy to remove this logo and I've actually made a video on how to do that on a modern pair, but it works same with the old pair. In fact, it's actually easier to remove the old uh, logo than it is the new pair. So somebody who's trying to be deceitful definitely could remove the lens logo and then you know try to sell them as an older pair of frames but this logo definitely will help spot uh, the frames that are made uh, at least after a 1982. Now there's a lot of people who like the look of the Ray-Ban logo and a lot of people who absolutely hate the look uh, it really is up to personal preference and like I said you can remove the lens logo as well but if it is on a vintage pair I definitely would not recommend removing it just because it you know I don't know it just really hurts me to, to, to do something like that but on a modern pair I have no problem removing that lens logo and if you buy a pair from sunglasses from our website you can actually request that we remove the logo and as long as it's on a crystal all glass lens we definitely can remove that for you now probably the biggest difference here between these two frames is actually the weight uh, the modern Luxottica pair come in at 32 grams which is actually pretty lightweight but the originals come in at 35 grams now keep in mind both these frames are the exact same uh, 58 millimeter lens size with a 14 millimeter ridge but the older ones definitely do weigh a little bit more and that's because the lenses are just a little bit heavier and because of that they're going to be a little bit more top heavy so as far as pure comfort goes uh, the modern ones are actually a little bit more comfortable than the originals but the originals definitely feel much more solid and uh, substantial than the Luxottica pair. I know it's not a lot but the extra three grams just really adds to the bulk of the original so not a huge difference but definitely something to keep in mind. Now another big difference between these frames is going to be uh, the little uh, etched Ray-Ban logo that's going to be found on the modern pair. We can see there's a little etched RB logo here in the middle left of the lens, but it's only found on the left lens where here on the uh, original Bosch & Lomb vintage frames, there's actually going to be two little B&L logos. Uh, so here, uh, right here in the same location, but on both of them, we can see a little BL logo and a little Easter egg here is if you actually tilt the logo uh, 90 degrees, it actually does look like a pair of sunglasses or eyeglasses, which is really cool as well. Well, a lot of people actually don't know that, but definitely kind of fun. And again, that's going to be found on both the lenses, but Luxottica only does it here on the middle left lens on the modern frames. Now, another difference here is the etching on the top ridge of the frames. On the vintage pair, it says BL Ray-Ban uh, USA. And then here on the Luxottica pair, it just says Ray-Ban made in Italy. If we flip these frames over and take a look at the underneath of that top ridge, we can see uh, the vintage pair says BL Ray-Ban uh, 5814. And then the Luxottica pair says Ray-Ban uh, 5814 there. However, the text is actually inverted on the modern pair than it is on the original. So it's actually going to be the other direction, which is definitely very interesting and something else to keep in mind here. Now, another pretty big difference of these frames, which definitely does not get talked about often, is the rim of the frame. So here on the original, we can see it is much more flat and uh, much more, you know, 1980s, 1960s, utilitarian style where here Luxottica actually curved it out and made it much more smooth and it's not nearly as uh, flat it's much more round and because of that it adds more of a kind of a modern shape and more of a smooth shape uh, definitely more aerodynamic shape to the frames where on the originals it's flat and uh, 
definitely a pretty big difference there when you really take a look at it. That's by far the biggest difference of these frames is the fact that the modern is definitely much more smooth than on the originals. And after handling hundreds of different uh, vintage and non-vintage Arabian Avian frames, I can literally just look at the rim and tell you if it is a vintage pair or if it is not a vintage pair. Uh, super, super easy, kind of a dead giveaway. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the nose rest of these frames here on the Luxottica pair. We can see a little etched RB logo. And then here on the uh, Bosch and Lom pair, we can see the little Bosch and Lom logo. But not every pair of authentic Ray-Ban Aviator Bosch and Lom frames do have that BO logo. The like 1970s and older actually just have a little metal piece there. They don't actually say Bosch and Lom. It was kind of like early 1970s, I believe, where they actually added that logo. So that's actually one of the dead giveaways to know if your pair of uh, Bosch and Lom Ray-Ban sunglasses really old, you know, like 1970s or older, you're actually looking for the frames to not have a BL logo there at all. So that's about all the main differences of these frames. Now we're going to kind of go ahead and talk about some of the things you can't really see here, and that is the build quality of the metal here. Uh, so obviously on this old pair of frames, uh, it's definitely been used and worn, so it's not going to be nearly as good as it was brand new, but I have definitely handled new old stock of uh, Bosch and Lom Ray-Ban Aviator frames, and the build quality is just simply better on those than it is on the modern Luxottica pairs. They're just more substantial, they are stronger, they feel better, they feel like they're not going to break nearly as easily. And again, the lenses are even thicker as well, which do add that extra weight. And almost every pair of original Ray-Ban Bosch and Lom Aviator frames were actually made in USA. However, there were definitely some that were made in the United Kingdom for the European market. So not all the frames were made in USA, so that's something else to keep in mind here, where all the modern Ray-Ban Aviator frames are made in Italy. And again, the build quality here is still really good. They have all glass lenses. The frame quality is really good as well, but nothing beats the original Bosch and Lom uh, Aviator style with their thicker rims and just the build quality of Made in America is just absolutely incredible. You know, these frames are really what made a uh, Ray-Ban what it is today as far as popularity goes. Just really amazing uh, build quality, really, really great styling here as well. And there's just simply not a lot of things better than a pair of vintage Ray-Ban Ben Bosch and Lom Aviator frames. They are just simply amazing and uh, you can actually still get them pretty cheap. You can get them kind of for the same price as a brand new pair because uh, a brand new pair is like $180 uh, directly from Ray-Ban's website. And you can get a used very good condition pair of Bosch and Lom Ray-Ban Aviators for around 200, maybe 250. New old stock, you probably can get them for around 300 plus dollars, which is really not too crazy. Considering the fact that somebody had to store them in the original box for like, you know, 25 years, uh, really the prices of those should definitely go higher. Uh, but yeah, just really, really good sunglasses. Uh, both look really, really good. But again, personally, you cannot beat the originals as far as the build quality goes. And I really, really, really do love these. They just look absolutely incredible. But if you do get a pair of original Bosch and Lom Ray-Ban Aviator frames, definitely kind of protect it. Make sure you don't scratch them up and kind of destroy them. If you want to get a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses they don't have to worry about breaking, definitely go ahead and pick up a modern pair and you don't have to feel bad about putting scratches or marks on them. Of course, with an original Bosch and Lom pair, they haven't made them for 25 years. So every time you break a pair, uh, it's just one less pair on the market. So definitely make sure to protect them. Oh, and as far as optical clarity goes, uh, honestly, there really is not a big difference as far as the optical clarity of the standard G15 Ray band lens. Uh, they are both really, really good. They both have a nice anti-reflective material on the back side of them. And they're simply just a good uh, piece of all glass lens, uh, but one is definitely not better than the other in my opinion. However, there are definitely some uh, diehard Bosch and Lom enthusiasts who swear the optical quality is better on the originals than it is on the modern. And I actually did a blind test here there's really not a big difference. It almost seems like the greens are a little bit stronger on the original, but of course both are supposedly G15 lenses, so they should be basically identical. And looking through these, it looks like the original are a little bit, you know, darker. I don't know, maybe by like 1%. Basically, as far as optical quality goes, there is no difference between the G15 lens. What is really special about Bosch and Lom vintage sunglasses is all the absolutely amazing different lenses that Ray-Ban produced, like the Diamond Hard, the Chromax lens, the RB50, the Amber Maddox, and so much more. That is really where Ray-Ban made its name with those beautiful glass lenses. Here with the G15, it's just the G15 lens. It's nothing 
nothing too crazy. But that, of course, is just my personal opinion. I definitely do not consider myself to be a vintage Ray-Ban uh, expert here, but I definitely do know a lot about the topic. I'm just not a huge expert. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind through this video as well. But yeah, overall, both beautiful pairs of sunglasses. Uh, there's just a special place in my heart for the vintage uh, pairs that definitely is for sure. And I personally do own, you know, dozens and dozens of, of vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses, most of them, which I will never ever sell. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs down below. And of course, make sure you hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video, just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.